Make it, sing it, draw it, say it. This is how dog zombies play it. Do your most a furry creature. Draw a picture of my teacher. I like wafers, they're the best. Marcus Mel Drew's not impressed. Granny's custard's very lumpy. Delia is always grumpy. I'm Tom Nitz. Tongate's kite. You will need a piece of coloured paper, two sticks of different lengths, a ruler, a pen, some sticky tape, and some string. And a glue stick? Sorry, we don't need a glue stick. Oh, all right. Awkward. Got all that. Let's get making. Take your sticks and lay them across one another like this. And snip off a length of string. Be careful with scissors. And tie the sticks together in the middle like this. Lay your piece of paper under the sticks and cut diagonally from edge to edge like this. Then at each point, fold the excess paper over like this. Then fold the rest of the paper over like this. Now stick it all together with your tape. Take another piece of string and tie it round the shorter stick like this. Then tie a really long piece of string to that. Turn your kite over and draw on any design you like. I'm going to doodle some bugs and monsters. You can add strips of coloured paper to your string to create some ribbons. Awesome! And there you have your very own Tom Gates kite. You can use any colours or designs you like. All you need now is some wind. And off we go! Let's make our own pencil holder. You will need some coloured cardboard, a cardboard tube, a plate, a ruler, some scissors. Be careful with scissors! Sticky tape, PV glue and a pencil and pen. And a glue stick? Sorry, we don't need a glue stick. Oh, all right. Got all that? Let's get making. Take your cardboard, grab your plate and draw around it to make a circle. Then cut out the circle. Use your cardboard tube to draw a smaller circle in the middle of the big one. Then with the ruler draw two lines at the bottom and the top of the small circle like this. Then fold up the bottom and the top like this to create the sides of the pencil holder. Then Flatten the shape back out and flip it over. Now it's time to decorate the sides with your pen. Draw whatever you like or add your name. Now you've got the base of the pencil holder. Take your cardboard tube and cut it into three smaller tubes of different sizes, like this. Now you can colour them in with paint. Add a blob of glue to the front and back of each tube and sit them inside the circle. Fold the sides up to meet the glue and hold it all together with sticky tape. Leave the tape on until the glue dries and everything is stuck together. When the glue is dry, carefully remove the tape. And you have your pencil holder. You can fill it with all your pens and pencils. And a glue stick. And even your glue sticks. <laughs> awesome! How to make your very own pesky cat. You will need some air drying clay, some toothpicks. Be careful with toothpicks. And a pen. And a glue stick. Sorry. Maybe next time. All right. There we go. That's everything you need. Got all of that yet? Great. Take your clay, cut it in half. Take a small piece off one side and save it for later. Use your hands to roll each side into a ball. Use the smaller ball to make a head. 
Pinch the clay between your fingers to make the ears. Pinch off a small piece of clay to make the nose. Grab a toothpick. Be careful with toothpicks. And draw a mouth. Bring back the other ball. Yep, that's the body. Remember the clay you saved for later? Roll it up and you've got a tail. OK, now it's time to let your cat drop. Check the clay instructions to see how long it needs. Usually overnight or a few hours. Right, take your pen, colour in the nose, draw a little line to his mouth, two eyes, eyebrows, ears and of course, some whiskers. Awesome, I love it. And if your cat is feeling lonely, you can always make some cat friends. Or even try a clay monster. <laughs> Monsters! You will need a cardboard tube, some scissors. Be careful with scissors. And some colourful wool. And a glue stick. Sorry, we don't need a glue stick. Oh, all right. Awkward. Got all that? Let's get making. Take your cardboard tube and cut it in half so you have two smaller tubes like this. Snip off a length of wool and tie the tubes together. Then wrap lots and lots of wool around the tubes until they look like this. Snip another bit of wool and tie a loose knot around the wool in the middle of the two tubes. Then slide out the tubes and tighten the knot to make a sort of bow, like this. Now, snip each side of the bow, cutting all the loops in the wool. Cut off the excess wool and ruffle it out to get your pom-pom shape. Pop on some eyes and a mouth and you have your woolly monster. You can make them in lots of different colours and any size you like. <laughs> Let's make some paper palm trees. You will need some colourful paper, scissors. Be careful with scissors. Sticky tape and a pen. And a glue stick. Sorry, we don't need a glue stick. Oh, all right. Awkward. <laughs> OK, got all that? Let's get making. Get your paper and roll it into a tube and then stick it together with tape. Stand up the tube and cut strips with your scissors from the top to about a third of the way down like this. Do this a few times so you have lots of little strips like this. Now curl each strip over to give your tree some leaves. Now you can doodle a pattern on the trunk. You have your very own paper palm tree. You can use any colours or patterns you like. Love it! A tasty toasted doodle. You will need a slice of bread, white works best, clean hands and a toaster. Be careful with toasters! That's right, make sure you get an adult to help you. And a glue stick? Not for toast. Oh, all right. Sorry, maybe next time. Fantastic. Let's get making. Take your bread and decide what you want to draw. Something simple works best. Use your finger to press into the bread to make an indent, like this. Keep pressing until you're happy with your doodle. Now it's time to toast your bread. And don't forget, ask a grown-up to make sure it's safe. When your toast is done, you can really see the doodle. If you want to try something with more detail, use a spoon to press into the bread, like this. You can doodle all kinds of shapes and designs. Here are a few of my favourites. Tasty toasted doodles. Yum! <laughs> 